obviously, for TV standards. Yeah. How dark and gritty are you going, and how close to the comics are you leaning here? Well, I mean, we've done four story trailers during mm -hmm. the fall where we uh, presented each character and where we're just showcasing a bit of that uh, grittiness. And we've tried to really stay true to the, uh, like the original darkness and the original mood of Robert Kirkman's universe. I think we ha we're really onto something, right? Because we hear people screaming as they're playing. And, you know, something that is so cool about The Walking Dead is that when shit hits the fan, it goes dark really fast, oh. right? So you have people dying, you have to help your friends, etc. And okay. without spoiling too much about the story in the game, yeah, there's mm -hmm. definitely going to be things that happen, you know? So are You're going to meet choices? friends and enemies. Are there choices in the game? There's always the choices. Japanese. There's okay. always choices in video games, you that. know? <laughs> and especially in a cooperative game, there's always a choice. Do I go for my friend who's lying there, right. getting eaten by four walkers, or do I leave, you know? That's, okay. that's always the kind of choice you got to do in this type of game anyway, yeah. Now, when you say co-op, uh, is it... Uh, uh, local, online? Online, yeah. Okay. It's fully online, yeah. So, so the, the game is a four-player co-op game, but of course you can play by yourself if you want to. You can play two people if you want to be like a ragtag, you know, duo. Right, uh, sure. Taking on the walkers yourselves. And, and that we're probably going to have people do that, you know, because in a post-apocalyptic setting, mm -hmm. everyone has a, their own idea how to best survive. And that's what we want to be, give players the opportunity to try to explore. Okay, you have four unique characters. Do you have any like special um, skills? Set, skills right? Yeah, they do. Or? Yeah. So it's an action game, but uh, mm -hmm. making games. We also love making games for hardcore players who love to, you know, change skill trees and mm -hmm. try different weapons that have different damage outputs, etc. And it being a four-player game, you can combine, right? So you go full out tank with Aiden, you know, the architecture oh. uh, architect who who has who favors the baseball bat. So we have you in the front lines, whereas you would go maybe with Grant, pick the sniper rifle, scout the area, the tactician of the group. I actually think you kind of nailed it. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I, I would, I would make him go in front, yeah. and I'd be in back shooting people. Yeah. Go, because, kill, kill that walker. Yeah, yeah, good job. <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing great. I'd be, I'd, I'd be, I'd, you know, encouraging him. And I could be Maya. I could be the the medic. So Maya is okay. a su surgeon. Yeah. So I could heat you guys up when everything's oh. over. Yeah. So okay. I'll be, I'll be hiding somewhere, going like, are they dead yet? Are the walkers gone? And then I go sort things out. So yeah. you speak about it. Well, survival is obviously a big thing when it comes to yeah. zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what about crafting? Crafting is a big part of the game as well, yeah. So okay. as you as you walk into Washington, D.C., uh, you're going to have to find gadget pieces, scrap metals, etc. And these are then used to create different things, everything from the weapons that you use, mm -hmm. throwables, etc., to other things that you need in the camp, etc. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I see, like, it looks like kind of a... Uh, the melee weapon that you have out, or that they had out, was yeah. like a cobbled together, something like that, so you can like make weird com combinations of stuff? Yeah, well, I mean, the game is set in a, in a post-apocalyptic setting, so sure. everything's, nothing's working. Right. As, it, as it should, right? Yeah, cars, totally. you know, they just stand still. Nobody's driving them. And by the way, you have to stay away from car alarms in the cars, mm. you know, because if you beat a walker and, and they touch a car, it might Watch start out. making noises. And you don't want to make noises in Washington DC with a ton of walkers around you, right? Because any That's noise you make, right the walkers will hear. So mm -hmm. they will try to get closer to you, right? right? And if you start firing weapons, like a shotgun, uh, sorry, like a sniper rifle, the walkers will be attracted to that area. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and because it's humans you're fighting again, uh, as well, it's bec it becomes this uh, three-way three thing where you and the bandits are fighting, but suddenly the walkers just arrive from nowhere, and yeah. there's a horde of them, you know? Mm. So they ha the, the bandits have to take care of them, but you have to also, right? So you, there's a really, really cool gameplay mechanic there going on. Well, and that's been one of the themes of The Walking Dead since the very beginning. Yeah. It's fear the dead. You know, kill the humans. You know, yeah. it's like exactly. the humans are the real threat. The, the real other threat. people exactly. you meet. Exactly. Yeah. And if 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 you're a big a, a comic book fan, you know, as a comic book reader, that the, the mm -hmm. humans at the end of the day the are the, are the yeah they're monsters. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and the family stealing uh, your only opportunity to get clean water. It's not that nice of a thing to do, right? right? So. Right. Yeah. So can you give us an idea of the scope of the world? Because Rock and Dead, you, you see the big shots they do on the TV show, and even yeah. in a comic, you yeah. know, the atmosphere sets the mood. Yeah. Can you start with the environment? Is it open world, or, do you, or is it semi-open world? Uh, it's a mission-based uh, okay. structure, right? Because but we, we have a clear idea of what we want to tell for launch. And mm. after launch, when the game is out on November 6, we want to see how everyone enjoys the story, the gameplay and everything, what kinds of weapons people do like, mm -hmm. what kind of uh, enemies they like to kill, etc. And based on that, we're going to do something we call it like a lifeline for the game. So okay. with Payday, the bank robbery game we made, we still work on it five years down the line. Mm. And the reason is we care. You know, mm -hmm. we built a game, we built a world that we want players to continue experiencing. So it's less of a, like a movie, if you will, and more of like a TV show approach where we just continue post-launch okay. and just continue to add stuff. 
Payday 2 was released five years ago. Mm -hmm. 190 updates later, we still are doing wow. stuff with the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, That's yeah. our ambition for this game, too. Imagine a first person co op uh, shooter within the Walking Dead universe where you can just continue to get new storylines, where you can, as part of the community, be part of the experience and have opinions about groups we meet, playable characters, mm -hmm. and be a, a, a part of that and be able to say, I want to play as Negan, or you know, I, where right. is Rick, you know, or you know, start petitions online or whatever. Because yeah. we're totally into that, and that we've shown that, and we've proven that already with Payday. So we're in a super, super good position, I think, as developers, to really give the gamers something mm. where we together can, you know, shape it in any way we form. So hypothetically, you go, Flares not dark up. enough. So. Well, let's do that then. Let's, okay. let's make it darker, you know. Okay. Let's make it grittier. Let's let's kill someone Cyber. off or whatever, you know. We, that, it's up to us. Oh, no Together with Robert Kirkman, of course, as well, because we want to make sure he's mm. on, you know, before we do anything weird. But uh, yeah, that's the beauty of it. So yeah, a great, a great opportunity for anyone who's into Walking Dead to just jump in and yeah. Kill some walkers. Now you said it's mission based. Uh, how does the, the is there a is there a, a storyline that progresses? Yes. Oh, there, there, there is. is. Okay. Yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah. Because one of the things that uh, are, are so good with the Walking Dead universe is the story and the storyline of the group. Absolutely. The storyline of the group that you're following and what happens with that group. So there is a storyline that we are following, and uh, without spoiling too much, some of it can be experienced here at E3 as you play the, the mission that is available here. Okay. And uh, obviously the rest will be available as we come closer to launch and when people get to, to play it themselves.